YouTube. Claire Bear's Closet coming at you with a video of some MLB player tees and t-shirts, which I've collected throughout the years. I'd say I have the most baseball, basketball shirts, and I think baseball edges out NBA. I think. So we're going to get cracking here. I'm, you know, I, I mentioned a little bit in the NBA video. I'm not going to harp over these shirts for too long. I'm kind of going to keep the line moving here with the, with the items I have and keep it simple because there, there's quite a few of them. Boston Red Sox, 2004 World Series champs. Really cool shirt I picked off of, picked up off of Fanatics. It has all of the minor league baseball teams on them, and I think this is from 2004. Nationals, Gio Gonzalez. Love Gio. He's on the White Sox, I believe, twice. The White Sox had a chance to keep him twice. Michael Morse. Really neat Red Sox shirt here, and I'll tell you why. Not only is it Jacoby Ellsberg, but look, number 46. He wore this number for just a short time on Boston. I love this shirt, though. It's really soft. The Dutch Oven, Derek Holland. Now I believe he's on the White Sox. Love the Rangers red gear from the hats all the way to the t-shirts to the jerseys. The red is my favorite. 2010 American League All-Star shirt. And you guessed it, or maybe you didn't. Matt Thornton. Used to be a back-end reliever and closer, I think, for the White Sox. It's even signed. I got signed when he was on the Yankees. Hmm, Cardinals shirt. Ah, I think he, this man's now a World Series champ. Colby Rasmus, or is he on the, the Blue Jays? I thought he was on the Astros for a short time. Or, you know what, he's on the Rays now, because wasn't he the one before last season had that neck beard everyone's talking about? Nah, I don't know. Astros, love the old Astros, as in six, seven years ago, Astros love this brick red Hunter Pence, where it all started. Gosh, I remember, I remember just, he'd go up to Wrigley Field and just, he'd look like a modern-day Honus Wagner, crushing out of the park, running the bases. He's awesome. I root for him. I know he's the Giants, and the Giants aren't a well-liked team uh, where I'm originally from, but hell, I root for Hunter Pence seven days a week. Cardinals again. Albert Pools. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to state a rash generalization here. Um... But I, I, have, I have a few Cardinals things. I like the Cardinals logo. Bush Stadium is beautiful. But Cardinals fans may be the worst in baseball. They think they're the only team which exists. They think they're the standards of, of a major league franchise. Uh, they're cockier than Yankees fans. I, I truly believe that. I think they are cockier than, than Yankees fans. And I haven't seen very many true Yankees fans. But just going to school in Central Illinois, a lot of the fans from downstate are St. Louis. They... First of all, they'll assume you're a Cubs fan if you go against them. If you if you disagree with what they say, they'll say, oh, well, at least the Cubs. Well, prove I'm a Cubs fan. I'm a baseball fan, champ. That's it. I'm off the soapbox with that. Kaz Matsui, 06 Mets. Mission October. Who could forget? Pretty mainline player here, but I, I love the Nationals alternates or whatever you'd call this. Steven Strasburg. I think I got this the season he, he came up. So what was that, 2010? Another neat Red Sox shirt here. Not only is it Jonathan Papelbon, but it dons the World Series 2007 champions. It's a little bit of a commemoration. Moving forward. This player finally called it quits, and he's a great guitarist. Some of you didn't know. 
Bronson Arroyo. Yeah, he finally said enough was enough. I mean, geez, though, he won the World Series in 04 with the Red Sox. And then, he, and then he played on the Reds for a long time. He was bouncing around. It was time. Let's face it. Let's call a spade a spade here. Athletics. Cliff Pennington. I got this shirt from the place across the street from Wrigley Field. I think it's called Sports World. But they have the most random t-shirts you could ever find. And there's a few of them. And I'll point it out every time. Um, I, I, I show a shirt in which I bought from that place because it's the, it's, it's the most random shirts ever. It's incredible. 2012 American League All-Star shirt. Chris Sale. Um, when I'd go to White Sox games consistently, a tradition of mine was to buy uh, the, a player tee in, for the All-Star game. And that year, 2012, was Chris Sale. Ooh, I cannot think of who this is. I think, ah, uh, I remember now. Colby Lewis. This was another pickup at that Sports World Chicago store. Kobe Lewis, great player, was on, I think, both World Series teams for the Rangers, which lost to the Giants and Cardinals, respectively. Look at this throwback. I think I got this from Walmart when I was in fourth or fifth grade, and I bet you it'd still fit me. Got some bleach stains right there, though. Shame. Kerry Wood, number 34. Such a random shirt, but I love it. I don't think I've ever worn it. It's way too big, but I, I bought it because I had to have it, and it was so random. Khalil Green. Guess who this is? I mean, this is this is so obvious, and I have a couple shirts of him. The other shirt I'll show you in a little bit is awesome. And I'll tell you why. And you, actually, I won't have to tell you why. I'll sh you'll see why it's awesome. Derek Jeter has a really cool pinstripes. The funny thing about this is th this shirt doesn't depict his accurate jersey. I don't think Derek Jeter ever wore a, a, a name on the back of his jerseys. The Yankees don't do that. I don't think, at least. Number 30, former Blue Jay, Ted Lilly. Had to have it. Actually, this was given to me as a gift. I'm really picky about shirts. Um, if they're not majestic for MLB, if they're not now Adidas for NHL or Reebok, if it, if it wasn't ever worn on the field by the players, I really don't wear wear it, and I'm weird like that. I just, I don't, I just, I just don't do it. Um, it's a strange thing. However, it's just my preference. I bought this in Atlanta as I was leaving. Dan Ugla, former Florida Marlin. Ah, another Sports World Chicago pickup. What a treasure. Holy smokes. I keep finding these things everywhere. Green. I mean, the Mariners, weren't, I don't think they've ever worn a green jersey, but it was cool. Dustin Ackley. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong on here. I know there's been a couple of these uh, names of playing baseball, but this is a Scott Shields, I think. Scott. I think it's Scott Shields. Um, not definitely not James Shields, but I think Scott Shields pitched on the Angels. Big shirt, but I love the Angels. John Buck, you guessed it, Sports World Chicago. I I don't get it. I don't understand. It must be orders that they place from people around the country that don't want them, or they change their mind and they have them, so they just put them out there. And I, I think they're ten bucks. I picked up so many shirts from that place. Travis Snyder on the Blue Jays. I'm going to have my hat video here in a little bit, but looking at this is my favorite Blue Jays. Not the 90s, not Joe Carter Blue Jays. Um, Mid-2000s Blue Jays, that logo. What they have now, I do not like. I do not like it. And it's, it's weird because I usually like the old, the old logos of baseball teams, football, basketball, hockey. Not that one. Tigers. We could take a take a stab, Jeremy Bonderman. Holy smokes, I love this shirt. I love the name Bonderman. Another national shirt. I cut the sleeves off this because I occasionally work out in it. Bought this one, the Gonzalez and the Morris, in a package. I think for under twenty bucks. And it was so random. They're all small, skin tight on me, but I, I had to have them. Tyler Clippard. Forgot where he recently signed. He signed somewhere on a one-year deal. I, I didn't. I wasn't able to see. This might be one of my 
top 10 favorite baseball shirts only because the player is on the back. Yeah, Cubs, ooh, big whoop, yeah, 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 whatever. It's the player on the back that matters for me. Nomar Garcia Parra. Short-lived career on the Cubs. Thought he had all this hope, bouncing, you know, coming back from the Red Sox. Or did he? He wasn't on the Red Sox 04 World Series team. I, I should know that. that. That's a that's a that's a common sense fan uh, factoid, and I don't know it. But I, I I thought he I thought he did win the World Series with the Red Sox and came in 05 to the Cubs. One of the few throwback shirts I have. Tony Gwynn. I think he finished with uh, what was it? 3,165 hits or something like that. Uh, gone too soon. Way too soon. Classic t-shirt right here, and I'll show you exactly why. Joe Mauer. Basic. But I, I feel like everyone needs a Joe Mauer shirt. Just such a good player. Was at least. Much newer, as you can see in the logo. This is a brand new shirt. I don't think I've ever worn it. I forgot where I got it, but I think... I think I got it as a gift. I received it as a gift from someone. Kyle Schwarber. He went to IU Bloomington. This man still plays. He was just uh oh actually no, sorry. I thought this was I thought this was K-Rod shirt. Francisco Arrigo. It's not it. Santana. I forgot this man's first name. Johan. Johan Santana. Holy so I was about to say Irving. This shirt is awesome, and I'll tell you why. I Actually, I'm just going to show you why. Mike Sosha. And, and, and there's, one, there's one entity I credit for being able to spell his name correctly. And I'll tell you what it was. Sporkle. I'd, I'd constantly play Sporkle quizzes, and I know his name is spelled like Skio Skia. And thanks to Sporkle, I know how to spell it. Finish up uh, another Cubs shirt here. Derek Lee, first baseman. Almost won that triple crown in, what was it, 05? Thought he had a shot. Thought he had a shot at it. Ooh. Love the D-backs. Chris Young. Such a good guy. Gosh, so many times I'd sit out there at the hotel for the, you know, it'd be for the Red Sox or the Yankees or these other teams. He'd be one of the few guys to sign. Mets. I mean, he was one of the few guys to only sign on those teams. Everyone needs a shirt in their collection. You already know who it is. On you know, no no introduction here. Everyone needs a shirt like that. Ichiro, you need an Ichiro shirt in your baseball collection. This guy is one of a kind. I mean, he he just said he wants to play till fifty. Oh dog, oh dog. Look at this. This is one of my favorite shirts too. First season at Target Field. And O Dog is Orlando Hudson, number one. Bounced around a lot of places. Switch hitter, Dodgers, White Sox, Twins, Diamondbacks. Gosh, he's been all over. You guessed it, Aaron Judge. Had to have it. Judge, you, you, Judge come on. That's, that's an awesome name to win a pick of a shirt. Rockies, love, 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 love the Rockies. I'm going to pull a trigger. Or going to pull the trigger on a Trevor Story shirt uh, sometime soon. Have to have it number 27. Dexter Fowler. My roommate and his father travel around all over the country to different baseball stadiums this past year. They at one of the juice box stadiums, which is Tropicana Field. They said, find the most random player you can. Alex Cobb. Yes. Oh, yes. Dodgers, Brad Penny, man, remember him, Yankees, Vernon Wells, David Wells, David, no, Vernon Wells, Red Sox, and I haven't ever seen another shirt like this, and it's, it's awesome, it's a throwback of a player that played a long time ago, I think he almost lived to 100 Johnny Pesky. Ugh. Top top five favorite shirts right there, Johnny Pesky. Did a little California baseball tier tour. Pardon. A couple years ago. Went to Angels, Dodgers, and San Francisco Stadium. Beautiful, all three parks, special in its own unique way. 
and got the Houston Street. Love Houston. American League All-Star shirt, 2010. This man pitched on the Indians. And the name on the, you see on the back is not his actual name. I believe his real name was Roberto Hernandez. But he went by Fausto Carmona. And I, I had to have it. It was actually signed somewhere, but I washed it so much. It was it faded away. And the person I purchased it from sent me a picture of him signing it to prove. I, 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 you know, I thought that was just unnecessary. It was great cover in their tracks. However, you don't need to prove to me that someone of that caliber signed a shirt. It's just, it's, it's, it was irrelevant. I found it funny, though, and thoughtful. This man should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, he did cheat the game of baseball, and it's funny. I'm saying, oh, he did this, did this, but he still should be in. He had 762 career home runs. He deserves to be in there. Give Willie Bloomquist steroids. He's not hitting, he's not hitting 500 home runs, I promise you. But I know it's the morals of the game. Derek Jeter, number two shirt. Got this in New York when I went to a Knicks game. Saw in the local champs. Picked it up immediately. Has every single All-Star game he's ever been in. Now, I've seen the shirts with all the World Series titles. But I, I couldn't ever find this online. I know it existed, but ugh, awesome. James McDonald, former pitcher on the Pirates. Former National and Pirate. I think he was on the Braves for a short time. Doesn't play anymore, but Nate McLeod. Great outfielder, in my opinion. Man, this guy used to have quite the person on the Diamondbacks. He's simmered down ever since he's come on the Indians, but he had to get a custom made. Trevor Bauer. I believe he was a UCLA Bruin. All-Star shirt, one of the coolest names possible. I'm about to show you, you can have on the back of a shirt. This is exactly why I got it. And after I bought it, I think I bought this in 2014. From 2015 on, when he was on the Athletics roster, they started carrying his shirt. And I think it was off the fact of the popularity of his name. Sean Doolittle. This is his All-Star shirt, custom made. This was when it was in Minnesota. He was a relief pitcher. I think he's now in the Nationals, maybe? I think, I think he's moved on, though. Who knows? I've not ever received more compliments on a baseball shirt than this one, and I'm going to turn around and show you why. First of all, love the Baltimore. Lo love, love the Baltimore over the Orioles when they wear those jerseys. Jake Arrieta. I had got this custom made. I purchased it along with the Trevor Bauer shirt. I bought this in 2012. I think this was like my high school graduation gift to myself. But I bought this in 2012 and the 34. Oh, he pitched on the road. You know, a lot of people seem to think that Jay Carrietta's career started in the Cubs minor league system. At least you'd think that. Uh, well, gee whiz, what? He pitched on the Orioles? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And he was absolutely awful. I remember watching him in 2012 pitch the play against the White Sox in April 2012. He was awful. He was awful. He got he he was sent down the minor leagues in 2012. I think he, I don't think he won 18 consecutive starts. And the last one I picked up at Tiger Stadium when I was there last summer. Cameron Maben. It's a great sale on it, so I had it. Fits really tight, though, for a medium. Oh, it's a small. Oh, my goodness, I don't know why I'd buy a small shirt. I thought it was a medium, but really snug. I uh, bought it because it's Cameron Maben. So thank you so much for tuning in for my MLB shirts. Uh, please be on the lookout for more videos in my collection. And if you have any questions, please inquire. ClaireBearsCloset at gmail.com. Take care, everyone.